Is it your best? You know, it's so easy to become complacent, to settle with what is or what has constantly been happening. Um, it's easy to feel like, mm, maybe this is just what the rest of my life is going to look like. Maybe this is what my business is just going to look like and I'm just going to let it be what it currently is. The next time you feel like you need a little motivation, <clears throat> the next time you feel like nobody's supporting you, um, no one's helping, first of all, let me stop and interject right there. Nobody's coming to save you. It's no one else's responsibility. I know that may not be what you want to hear at the present time, but it's a realization I had to come to for myself when I was in the stage of blame, when I was the victim. Now, it doesn't mean I hadn't been victimized, okay? But when you begin to embody that victim stage, you diminish how much power you actually have. You underestimate how powerful you really are. And I realized no one was coming to save me. It was completely up to me to one, design the lifestyle that I desired to create, to work the business that I desired to build, to create the lifestyle that I wanted to live. It was no one else's responsibility. Even though there may have been people who held titles or positions in my life, at the end of the day, it's nobody's responsibility but my own to get me to the space that I am now. No one's responsibility to get me out of bad relationships, to, um, get me out of debt to help me become debt-free. No one else's responsibility but me. It was no one else's responsibility to figure out how this thing works, this thing called life. And especially as a business coach, um, reflecting on my own business, no one else's responsibility but mine to make my business soar. And the moment that I really embodied that, I really came to that revelation without any anger, without feeling frustrated about who had not done what, uh, there was a measure of freedom that I experienced. But whenever you feel you need a little motivation, I want you to do this for me. I want you to step into a space of awareness, right? This is when you're open to hear all the downloads, all the things coming from within internally, this is when you are really ready to face the truth, right? To tell yourself the truth. I want you to step into a space of awareness. And then the second thing I want you to do, I want you to ask yourself, is this the best? Is, the, is this the best that I can do? Is this the best that I can be? Is this the best that I can have? Is there more for me? And when you truly go in and answer those questions, when you step into a space of awareness, it will be enough motivation for you because you'll come to realize that there is more for you, right? There's more for you to do more for you to be, more for you to have. This is such a vast world. When you really step into a new level of abundance, you realize that there's so much to experience. There's so much to embody. There's so many places that you haven't gone yet. There's so many experiences that you haven't had yet. Outside of the ones that you have every day in your local area, in the normal seat of the things that you do, there's so much more of this world to experience. There's new income levels for you to experience, 
what they will allow you to do in your life. There's more freedom, there's more peace, more love, more joy. There's more places for you to go. The world is so amazing. I was riding earlier today and I was, I for a moment I paused, right? I was gonna take a picture, but a car was coming behind me because the scenery was just so amazing. Guys, I am in such a space of abundance where I see abundance all around me. And sometimes it literally brings me to tears. But not only does it bring me to tears, it motivates me to want to do, be, and have even more, to want to experience even more, to be fulfilled on another level, to reach a new level of, of freedom, to meet new people, to experience new cultures, just so much that I desire to do. And so the question, is this your best? It's the question that I also ask myself. And I'm always motivated when I truly answer the question because there's always another higher version of me. Now, this isn't about this never satisfied type feeling. It's something completely different. It's just an understanding that there's a new level for you to evolve. So when you ask yourself, when you step into the space of awareness and you say, is this my best? I want you to break it down into six areas. So I teach um, a concept that involve, involves six areas of life alignment. It's housed inside um, 3D Success Academy and all of my clients who have worked with me for an extended amount of time have done this particular exercise. Now, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing or deliver it in the way that it is in the academy, but I do wanna use the six elements of life alignment for you on, on this particular share to think about, is this your best, right? So here are the six areas. Number one, the social and cultural life. Are you living your best life socially and culturally? Are you having new experiences? Are you opening your mindset to new things? God has created such an amazing world with so many amazing people, so many cultures to experience. Is it your best? Is this the best social and cultural life that you can have? The second one, career and finances. Is this the best? Is this the best you can do as it relates to your career, your finances, your business, you know, what you're building? your income level that allows you and your family or friends to experience even more, allows you to do things for family members you've been wanting to do all the time. Is this your best? And I'm asking this because so many people get complacent because in their mind, they've tried everything they know to do. And nine times out of 10, that is true. They have tried everything they know to do. But there are more answers. There's someone like myself, a coach, accountability partners, books, podcasts, um, so many things. And if you are all information now, right, you've just been retaining information but not implementing, it is a coach. You need a coach, someone to coach you through, through it, hold you accountable, give you new strategies, give you new insight. As it relates to your career and finances, is this your best. Next one, your health and wellness. Are you at the healthiest, highest version of yourself as it relates to your health and your wellness? Is there another level of health or healthiness that you can embrace? So I, I admire people who just say, I'm going vegan, you know, or whatever, you know, they just go from one extreme to the next as it relates to their eating habits and things of that nature. And I don't know if I even have a desire to go vegan. I eat a lot of vegetables. I eat relatively healthy, but there's always another level that I want to embrace it. If nothing else, drink more water. But is this your best as it relates to your health and your wellness? Is it um, an important area of, of your life? Is this your best? Is this your best um, 
emotional and, and spiritual. And I, I have my notes over to the side so I didn't forget anything I wanted to share with you. But is this the best you could be emotionally and spiritually? Is there another level of inner work that you could do that would change every single aspect of your life? Is this your best? Is this your best learning and self-improvement that you can do? Have you tapped into the best level of learning and self-improvement that you can do? What if you took 60 days? So say for instance, you looked at all six areas of life alignment and you recognize that you were not operating at the highest version of yourself. But there were some areas that you were doing pretty good in. And then there were others that you, you're like, immediately, this area I need to work on. So what if you took 60 days on each area, each of those six areas of life alignment, and really gave it a centralized focus, starting with the ones that you felt you needed to do the most work in? How much would your life change in one year? Do the math. Is six areas of life alignment. If you took 60 days for each area, that would be 360 days. So you get five days break somewhere here or there, give or take. You're taking personal days, right? That would create an entire year. What if you spent 60 days of intentional focus on the six areas of life alignment? Would you be operating at your best for where you are in that season? If this is something you're interested in doing, I invite you to join me inside 3D Success Academy. It is a year-long growth track, the ultimate growth track for women in biz business. We approach building business from the inside out, from a holistic perspective, where we look at every area, those six areas specifically of your life, and I give you content and curriculum and strategy to operate at the highest version of yourself. You can focus 60 days on each element, but with accountability and steps. If you have not reached that next level you've been saying that you desire to meet, if you could do it on your own, you would. You would already have it. You would already achieve it. And so I'm asking you on today, is this your best? Oh, I forgot one of the most important ones, home and relationships. Home, family, and relationships. That's another area of the six areas of life alignment. Is it your best? Is your home life the best? Are, is your family connections, are they the best? Are your relationships the best? Are they healthy? Right? So... Number one, step into a space of awareness where you're just completely honest with yourself. This is if, if you need a little motivation, this will motivate you. Motivates me every single time. Even when I do uh, the six areas of life alignment um, by way of curriculum with my students, I redo the exercise again just so that I can look to see, oh, okay, you know, this area here, I've kind of pushed to the back burner a little bit. If I just tweak this, <clears throat> This area of my life would feel like I'm operating at the highest version of myself, right? And so I invite you to join us inside 3D Success Academy, a year-long growth track for women entrepreneurs, a holistic wellness approach, the ultimate self-care, right? Where you're really stepping into a space of awareness about your whole life. And yeah, we do all the business things, baby. Listen. I'm the branding queen. And I don't mean branding like your websites, your logos, and your pretty pictures. I mean who you are because that's resonating everywhere in your business, everywhere in the brand. Your brand is how the marketplace sees you and whoever you are being, that is what they see. And it always rolls over into your business. So we deep dive into numerous areas inside of the academy. And during this season right now, I am not quite in the middle, but almost in the middle of my 1111 sale. And 3D Success Academy is currently being offered at $1,111, over $1,000 off of the regular investment price. 
Now, this will end on November the 11th, and the, the Academy is, I don't put it on sale. It doesn't go on sale, but I really felt led. There's something for me, uh, spiritual, about 1111. There's so many scriptural references that, um, you know, just bring things full circle and into alignment, and I just felt led to offer this opportunity um, for those of you who've been wanting to join, or for those of you who may see this even for the first time, and this is speaking to your heart, and you know that this is what you need. You can access the Academy. You can check the link either at the top, bottom, or somewhere around this video to be able to join us, and you get immediate access. Um, for those of you who do the one-time fee, because there are installment options, you are grandmothered in. You get lifetime access. I'm always adding new content, content to the Academy. Um, as I evolve, the concepts that I teach um, evolve. And most oftentimes, you know, what I'm adding is um, easier ways to um, do, be, and have the things that you desire as it relates to the curriculum in the Academy. So that's my take on today. Step into a space of awareness. And number two, ask yourself, is this my best?